I, I didn't do any video today. I was uh, I went to get the Thai massage for the first time. It was quite funny. The woman told me that I would be sore all day. Turns out I have a lot of energy, so I'm ready to give a lot of value. It's been great. You have to try it at least once. So to get back to the topic today, I want to talk about trading and traveling. But most specifically, it's going to be the resource I use when I trade and travel. There's a couple of things that I've been using, some things that I like more. And the goal, of course, is traveling whenever you trade is to make it cheap. Because it's very easy to travel and have something really expensive. But we're going to try to make it really simple and really cheap for you guys. I want to share with you guys the resource that I use and the one that I've seen the most value from. There's going to be trading, there's going to be self-development, there's going to be traveling, and lastly, it's going to be meeting people. In all those four categories, those are things that you have to go through whenever you trade and travel. The first resource I use, and this has been kind of a shift over the past few years, I used to trade on uh, MetaTrader 4, which is a basic platform for trading Forex. A lot of people use it, it's good, but if you really want to up your game, I just don't like to analyze on that platform. So what I did now is I used TradingView. Now you can place your trade directly on TradingView, depending on the broker you have. So I technically now only use TradingView, which is only one platform, and that makes it very easy. Now uh, it's kind of different, you have to get used to it, understand. But once you get through the learning phase, it's very easy to use, very intuitive. You can set your risk very easily, and I really like it. So TradingView is the number one platform. All the links are going to be on this, uh, this side of the video, if you're on Facebook. And on YouTube, I guess it's going to be down below. So that's the first thing, TradingView. It's the best thing I've seen. In addition to this, the other thing that you really have to have whenever you trade and travel, and just when you trade in general, is you need to have a way to track your trade. You cannot just trade, 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 and be done and just make money. You have to have a way to track everything and to reanalyze what you did. Which is why I use a free tool called Trello. The link is also, <laughs> link is also on this side. And Trello is the, the tool I use basically to put all my trades. But I put screenshot and I can look at my trade very easily. I can know exactly what I did, what data, and do some details myself. But it's really like a nice visual way to do things. I'll put the link for that video on how to track your trade in the comment section. And that's what's going to be maybe easier for you guys to, uh, to do this. And in addition to Trello, I also use the tool called MyFexbook just for the stats. And the goal here is to not look at the stats too much. Because looking at the stats only make you more stressed. And it's not a good way to do things, I found. That's pretty much it for the journal. So you have your trading platform, which is, in my case, TradingView. I look at my chart and trade on TradingView. And then it's going to be Trello for all your journaling stuff. Track your trade, have a nice visual of everything. And that's it. Like, people could argue a lot that you need other tools. You, you need a Forex tester, you need a MetaTrader, you need a lot of things you have to pay for. But we'll try to keep it as simple as possible. And I'm not a fan of like having softwares and tools that I don't use. So I want to keep it really simple. TradingView plus Trello, which is a free tool. Very easy to use. TradingView is also free. You can get the pro version. This, this is what I use only because I want to look at many charts sometimes. Free version is way enough for the average trader. And that's pretty much the whole thing. But there's no reason to use uh, MetaTrader at all when you have TradingView. This is done. Now the second topic I want to talk about is going to be self-development. That's a big thing because a lot of times when you travel, you get to a new country, first of all you don't speak the language, which means you have to probably learn the language a little bit. Also you might need to like develop a few skills, whether it's going to be I don't know, cooking or we said learning a language or it could be simply uh, something for trading, like to learn how to identify more signals or more patterns. You could at this point pay for like many many courses. There's a lot of courses online. In training, a lot of uh, a lot are going to be very and very expensive. But there's also other ways you can do that. If you want to have the free resource and look around the internet, it's fine. I totally understand. If you're really low on budget, but there's also this website called Udemy, which I used a lot, and I mean like a lot for pretty much everything possible. So anytime I was looking for a course, a resource, how to do something. I will go on Udemy, it's Udemy.com, the link is also going to be uh, in the, in the uh, description here. I would just go on that site and look for courses on a topic. 
Now this is for the things that you really want to master, like not just how to cook like uh, a pancake. No, like it's gonna be something more precise, more more big, like how to trade price action, uh, how to learn Mandarin, right, or something similar to this. And I've purchased so many courses on that platform because they are very cheap, and it's pretty crazy the deals they have. There's a lot of courses that are priced at three hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, and you can get them for pretty much ten dollars. Right, which is insane. It's pretty crazy. A lot of maybe traders put courses there. A lot of uh, like teachers and language put courses there, and they teach you exactly like what to do, which is really, really cool. Some courses are really high quality, and you can follow them for like ten, fifteen, maybe twenty dollar, which is very, very good. So link is gonna be below. Check out the the deals they have because every week, I think, or like very often, because I'm signed up to their affiliate. A program I just want to disclose it right away but every week or every two weeks they send their deals and there's like a lot and a lot of deals right they, they, they discount everything pretty much and of course you have to look at the feedback because not all courses are going to be high quality it's understandable but look at the feedback there's like reviews from people and that gives you a really, really good idea of whether the course is good or not so that's it but the second resource I use a lot is actually audible for audiobooks. I've bought so many audiobooks that I listen to on a daily basis because I find it's a great way to just be on the go and listen to books. I kind of don't have enough time and that's bad. But I don't have enough time to read books sometimes. Audiobooks are really the best way to read books without reading books. <laughs> which is which is very interesting. But you just put your headphones when you travel. Uh, a couple of days ago I was in the uh, ferry to go from Sirateni, which is a place in Thailand, to Koh Samri, which is here in Thailand. And I listened to it in the book the whole time. Right now I'm listening to a book by Jim Rogers, really good, called Street Smarts. And I've listened to a couple of other books before. Right before that was uh, psycho Cybernetics, which I didn't finish yet. I'm just trying to master, go one chapter at a time. But that's pretty much it. A lot of books these days are published as audiobook also because it's very popular. But just pick an audiobook you want. And if I'm right, I don't have the link, but I can add it later. The first book you get on uh, Audible is free. Uh, first book or first two book are free. So you can, you can start and like get the book and read it, listen to it on your own. If you like it, then you keep going. But if not, totally fine, right? Like, it's unsuitable. That's the part about self-development. Udemy for courses that are really cheap. And the second one is gonna be Audible for audiobooks. Now, of course, when you trade and travel, the next part is gonna be, we get some tea here. Good tea from uh, Indonesia. The other part is going to be traveling. And there's two things I want to talk about here. The two main important things when you travel are going to be, first of all, where you stay. And the second thing is going to be how you get there. Right? So the plane, most of the time. Because you rarely we, we travel in boat. Right? That doesn't exist anymore, I think. So planes are the way to go, much faster. You can take trains, but I don't recommend it with the experience I had here. And the two things I use for this, number one is called booking.com for hotels. You can have like really crazy cheap deals on that, that website, booking.com. And I've put the link in the description for you guys to get uh, a bonus of $20. So you just use that link, sign up. You don't have to buy anything, but you pretty much get $20 off for your first reservation, which is really good. All the hotels I found this time were all with booking.com. And I've rented places in Thailand and in Indonesia for maybe $10, $20 a night for like big rooms and like private like villas and everything. So really cheap. You can have the pool and everything. It's really, really cool. So that's the website I use. Especially in Asia, there's like so many hotels there. Pretty much all the hotels are on this website. And it's very, very easy to book anything. That's what I use every single time. And I understand you could book with like Airbnb. If you really want to meet people, you have to live with other people. That's the easiest way. So being someone kind of introvert myself, where I don't meet that many people, it's much easier if I'm gonna be with other people to like talk with them and meet people easily. Because that's why I prefer to stay, even going as far as staying in hostels, because you meet a lot of people. And all my best friends that I've met while traveling, most of them I met them in hostels. I would much rather get a private room in an hostel, but just stay there to meet people, which is really worth it. So that's the thing about it. But booking.com, very, very good website. You can look at the reviews, you can look at pretty much everything. So it's really a good resource for that. 
And then when it comes to planes, <laughs> I see. Uh, I see so many people who book plane tickets that are so expensive and it's so funny because I talk sometimes with people in airplanes and sometimes they tell me like out of like random like this how much they paid for the plane and some people pay like a few hundred for a ticket that I paid maybe 40 50 dollars which is insane like it's, it's, it's ridiculous right it's crazy but airlines are like this they have different price depending on when you buy a ticket, depending on where you buy a ticket, depending on like a lot of factors. But there's this website called Skyscanner and what it does is basically a research tool where you can look at all the websites that sell tickets. So it's comparing all the websites, Expedia, like whatever, I don't know the website, but even the airline website and it gives you like the lowest price for a specific date. The cool thing is that you can research for like a full month to have like the lowest price in that month and you can have like big differences between like one month if you're like smart about it you're gonna pick a date that is cheaper than the others and you can save a lot of money that way you can really have cheap flights and even depending on when you book prices are gonna vary a lot so what I like to do is I like to book during the week like I'm gonna be at my computer during the week to book the ticket and then I'm gonna book a ticket when it's the cheapest, right? Because it's gets very a lot. Of course, there's like a difference of a few dollars, doesn't matter. Most of the time, there's gonna be big differences and really, really worth it to take your time, look at it, and try to uh, pick the, the best tickets and not get like scam on airplane tickets forever. Link is in the resource. I'll mess up with this, it's that way. Or uh, it's gonna be messy on YouTube, it's gonna be like this way, but whatever. So that's it for Sky Scanner. Now, the other parts when it comes to traveling, and this is true not only for traveling, but for most traders. The more you travel alone, and the more you trade alone, the easier it gets to feel lonely. And this is why I have like a couple of resources that I've built over time to meet more people. One of them that we talked about before is to get to stay in hostels, because you meet a lot of people. A lot of like smart people sometimes, it's pretty insane. But I've met like business owner in hostels, which is really, really cool. Then the other resource, one of them is called meetup.com. And I have a few groups on meetup. We do groups for traders to meet up and to discuss trading every month in Montreal. That's one thing. But in pretty much any city you go, any big cities, you're going to be able to find groups for whatever interest. Could be like a walking group, could be like a trading group, could be like a Toastmasters group for public speaking, a lot of that. So wherever you go, there's a way to meet people and sometimes you can even meet travelers because a lot of people in the meetup are travelers, they're new to the city, they want to discover, they want to meet people and that's pretty much where they go. So meetup.com is a great resource to meet people, find groups, you pick a group you like that interests you, you just go and that's very, very convenient, I think. And the other tool I've had some success with and I kind of forgot to use it a little bit these past months. But it's uh, Couchsurfing, I think it's .com, yeah. It's not the idea of Couchsurfing, so living in someone else's house on a couch. It's, it's not that, like, forget it. Could be good, but you don't want to trade in someone else's house. Could be really weird. But the idea is that with the mobile app, you can basically like make yourself available. And all the other travelers in that city can make themselves available at any time. And then you can meet up for like coffee or whatever for your lunch. I did it only once in uh, Shanghai. Like the first day I arrived I just wanted to meet people and I turned this like thing on for a hangout and I met a bunch of people who were going for dinner. I met those people for dinner, I had some really good conversation, really good connections and that's how it goes, right? Really good dinner too. So you can really meet people easily. You don't have to force yourself, you just have to pick something you like, you just go and you make it when it's convenient for you. If it's not convenient, if you're busy with work or with trading or whatever, doing your back testing or journaling or anything else, you just don't go, you just do your work. But when you want to go out, you go out. So that's the thing here. So I've done pretty much the whole thing. It's been over 20 minutes now, so if you guys have any questions, comment below, let me know. I know a lot of people are going to watch this afterward because it's now almost 11 p.m. in Asia. I hope this is of value to you. If so, please check out the YouTube channel we've just had. 1,000 subscribers on this channel just like a few minutes ago, 
which is really really cool. I'm super happy about the 1000. The goal is to do one video every single day and to make it interesting of course, traveling and trading at the same time. I try to share my lessons. I've had a really good interview with, uh, I cannot say the name, but you guys are going to figure it out if you go on the channel. Go on the channel, listen to the most recent video, and it should be the one where I interview this guest. And you guys are going to be able to see, but you should be able to spot. And uh, let me know in the comment below if you watch it. I'll go for here, guys. I hope you like this video. Yes, I'll go edit it, and uh, see you guys pretty soon. If you have any questions, I can comment, and I'm here to help. Ciao.